Herbert Hoover's speech, The Meeting of America, inspired us. Okay, <laughs> I'd like to talk about like, why and how the speaker inspired us. Now, Herbert Hoover, the, first, the 31st American uh, the President of America, does not have a, have a good his, historical reputation when compared with other presidents because of his disastrous handling of the American economy during the Great Depression. But some of, some of his speeches were outstanding. During some of his speeches, uh, he started off by thanking members of his audience for being there. I thank you for coming over here. And when he gave when he gave a speech in Iowa, which is the state of his birth, he talked about his childhood, which made his audience feel comfortable. And he always spoke in a in a com in a confident manner, which is very important when you are giving a speech. And uh, when I gave a speech, I really got nervous, like like informative speech and persuasive speech, and even right now, I get so nervous. And also, Herbert's method of giving speech was to pause frequently, which is a very appropriate and effective method of giving a speech. He gave, he gave his audience enough time to think more deeply what he was talking about. Not too long, not too short, just long enough. And now, Hoover's method of giving speeches inspires me to relax and to have more confidence in myself and to stop some points and give some pauses to my audience. And uh, also uh, helps, me, helps me maintain eye contact with my audience. So, well, we talked about why we choose Albert Hoover the significance of his speeches and communication concept and why and how the speaker inspires us. Thank you. So, uh -huh. <laughs> great. So in conclusion, really, what can public speaking do for us? Herbert Hoover exemplifies a great public speaker because he was able to maintain his reputation. Even though through presidency he was a known cause of the Great Depression, Really, nobody remembers him for that. They remember him for his humanitarian skills, but being able to step up to the plate and speak fluently and eloquently. People remember Herbert Hoover for being the starter of UNICEF, for being the co-founder of the Boys and Girls Club of America, for starting the Hoover Institution at, at Stanford University. I mean, so really, that's how important public speaking is to us. Because regardless of what's going on behind us, what our actions include, through great public speaking, we can overcome them. We can put on the face and encourage people, and also fool people, to believe that we do great acts which we aren't really doing. <laughs> Thank you.